This week, Disney released some massive news about their new story living community, Catino, right here in Rancho Mirage. You're going to find out when they're going to start selling, how many of the homes will be 55 plus neighborhoods, also some of the information about the community parks in the neighborhood, and not just that, I personally went to the development and took some aerial drone footage of the site so you could see the sales office, just the scope of the entire project. You're going to get information here you're not going to find on any other channel. My name is Tommy Jordan. I'm your Palm Springs area realtor. Before we get started, if you want to make sure you never miss out on another Disney Catino community video, make sure to subscribe with the bell notification on to be notified whenever I post and also make sure to subscribe. Okay, this is the first big piece of news we're going to be looking at today. This is a map of the community and this is pretty exciting because it's showing some of the different sections of the community, in particular the 50 55 plus area. Now we have a name for it. We didn't have a name before. They're calling it Long Table Park Residences. And what's exciting is the people who are living in this area of the Disney Catino community, they're going to have their own park, which is great, right? You're going to be with like people of a similar age. You know, you don't want taught like my toddlers running through your community, okay? You're not going to have to deal with that because you're going to have your own park. And what's even cooler is you're going to be right next to the town center where all the shopping and dining are, is going to take place, which I think is pretty awesome. We could see a little more information here about the other parks that are going to be included in the community, like Little Desert Park and also Laughing Place Ranch Dog Park, which is super cool, really exciting. And all these places, you know, give homage to Walt Disney and they're inspired by him and his time, you know, here in the Coachella Valley in the desert. OK, and make sure you stay to the end of this video, OK, because I'm going to be sharing with you a document that came out at one of the planning commission meetings. You're not going to get it anywhere else, I'm telling you. So make sure to stay to the end. And here we have the sales studio right up here. Let me show you some of my drone video. All right, here we go. I literally took this video today and I want to go over it with you so you could sort of understand the community more in depth, okay? Now, this over here is a little shopping center. It's going to be one of the closest ones to this development and they have a gas station and a Gelson's, which is a really great, you know, high-end sort of grocery store, okay? And what we're looking at here are a few different streets, okay? We have Frank Sinatra down here, okay? That's gonna be in the south. We have on the other side, okay, we're gonna have Monterey, and then we have Bob Hope right here, and then this right here is Gerald Ford, okay? This is a large community, 618 acres, almost one square mile, and there's gonna be 1,932 homes, okay? A lot of the things I say, they're subject to change because Disney's, you know, planning this as they go, but this is the information that's current at the time of this video. So you see right here, this is phase one. You could see a lot of the streets right here, um, the grading that's taken place. And let me just play the video that I filmed for you so you could take a look, okay? So here's gonna be the major entrance to the sales studio. And by the way, I hope you reach out to me because I have the inside scoop on this community, okay? So if you're looking to buy or sell in this community, please hit me up, I would love to help you. You. All right, so right here, shameless plug, right? Right here, Gerald Ford, this is where the sales studio is gonna be. I wanted to show you right here some of the views in the community because the views are spectacular. This right here is facing west, and this right here is the San Jacinto Mountains. Palm Springs is at the base of this mountain. There's a really cool aerial, there's a tram that you, you could go up to the very top. And during the winter time, these are snow-capped mountains. It's really beautiful. And then this is facing to the south, okay? San Diego would be way past this mountain down the coast, but you could get an idea that since we're in a valley, every side of this community, Catino, you're gonna have stunning mountain views. I wanted to show you some of the progress with construction, okay? This right here is one of the perimeter walls and you could see what they did, I don't know, but it reminds me of like a Venetian plaster. It's like a smooth kind of stucco. It's just, it's a really classy perimeter wall if, I, if I'd say so myself, okay? Okay, Disney's gonna do this above and beyond. This isn't just gonna be your typical community. 
All right, so this is the sales studio that we're looking at on Gerald Ford, okay? You could see right here these modulars, okay? They're every day they're making these nicer and nicer, but it's really exciting to see this being built, okay? And check it out. Here's a close-up shot with the parking lot right behind. And I hope I'm taking you to the sales studio as soon as sales start. Here we go. Here's the sales um, lot. By the way, I, I found out this information. So I heard, okay, from a birdie, let's just say that, that what they're spending on just doing, you know, this lot in, in, in some of the landscaping just for the sales studio is over $100,000. That's what I heard. I know a lot of people in the Valley that are currently doing some of the landscaping for this community. Okay. It helps to have someone on the inside, right? All right, let's take a look. Now we're going to be heading towards the east, okay? And this is going towards the corner. If we look up here, all right, towards the east, we have Monterey and Gerald Ford. See, the town center is going to be over here in this corner, right? And you can see how the streets are sort of graded right now. The estate style homes, they're going to be on the perimeter, and then it's going to get higher density towards the lagoon but it's, it's awesome. Now we're in the corner right over here, the corner I was just talking about, where the town center, the shopping and dining, it's gonna be incredible. It will be just right over here. And this is now looking towards the west. And I had to get some signed photos or signed video, okay? Hibiscus Berry Avenue. That sounds like an amazing drink. I want a hibiscus berry drink. Blue Oasis Drive, right? Because it's all about featuring the fact that you're going to be, you know, living right by this 24-acre crystal clear um, lagoon with, you know, white sand beaches, Oceana Road. I mean, it's it's pretty exciting. Now, this, to the best of my ability, looking at this development taking place, I'm guessing this is going to be the lagoon because it's sort of at a lower elevation and it's looking at the, the maps, the some of the planning commission maps. This looks like the place on those with a lagoon. Also, we see some of this rebar going in. So I'm guessing this right here is the 24 acre lagoon. It's pretty huge. So I zoomed out here because I want you to see how big 24 acres is going to look. And here we go. Okay, don't mind this little play button. But right here, you could see this 24 acre lagoon and then you're staring at phase one right here looking towards the west. Disney officials, and this is the Desert Sun, a great local newspaper, released some juicy information you're gonna wanna know. The park is designed to celebrate Walt's love for horses with an equestrian themed dog park featuring separate play areas for small and large pets. So it's awesome. There's gonna be an area for small dogs and large dogs and you could see it just looks super cute who want to bring who wouldn't want to bring their little fur baby there and then this is very interesting right here so pay close attention owning a home in the community will not automatically grant someone access to Catino Bay and its beaches instead a membership with the art artesian club will be required to access the waterfront amenities while guests will also have to pay for entry onto the beach now a lot of people were wondering this okay so what it looks like is there's going to be an HOA that's going to pay for, you know, the common area landscaping. You know, it's probably going to be 24, a, 24 acre, 24 hour guard gated community with different multiple gates around the community. So you're going to have an HOA. It might cover cable, you know, maybe Wi-Fi but you will have one HOA just for your home being in that community. But if you wanna actually access Catino Bay and its beaches, it's saying right here, you're gonna need an Artesian Club membership just to be able to access Catino Bay. It's not saying that it's required, but it's saying if you wanna enjoy this waterfront life, you're gonna to have to pay. So I'm not surprised because it, a lot of the communities in Rancho Mirage where the city Catino's located in, okay, they require you, like a Morningside Country Club or Springs or Sunrise, they require you to, you know, you have the normal HOA, but if you want to access like things like the clubhouse, the fitness center, you know, tennis courts, pickleball courts, that's a social membership. And that's another, say, three, four, five, six hundred dollars a month on top of your 
five, six, eight, nine hundred dollar HOA a month, you know. So it, it's not going to be cheap. But Disney did pick this community inside a high end city, Rancho Mirage. Okay, one of the more expensive cities in the entire valley. So you know, I'm not surprised you're going to need kind of a, if you want to call it an artesian membership, artesian club. It's like a social membership. Okay, for this bay. The development's first chapter. So this is part of phase one, located on the northwestern part of the property will include more than 300 homes or about 15% of the total approved for the property. They didn't offer a timeline for this first phase. So they're going to be coming out with 300 homes. That's really interesting because remember, it's a total of 1932 homes. So, and then this is even more interesting. Remember, we looked at that map of long table park residences, okay? A third of the initial homes will be in a 55 plus community long table park. So that's really fascinating to me because I've had a lot of you reach out to me for more information, which I love to share with you. I'm always happy to help you. So please reach out to me. Um, I have a lot of people forming relationships with me now. So the moment sales start, we could get a jump on, you know, the rest of the people that are interested. All right. So that's why it helps to have an agent here on the ground, but a third of the home. So a lot of people I know are interested in this 55 plus community. So the good news, a lot of homes are going to be available if you want to be in the 55 plus section. Because you stuck around, I have a special treat for you. This document, okay, was submitted a few days ago to Rancho Mirage's City uh, Planning Commission, okay? And they're meeting about this document today. And in this document, it shows all the different signage they're using throughout the community. You could see this sign as you enter the community. It's pretty amazing. You see this Porsche right here. I'm telling you, they have a Porsche 911 right there. This is going to be a high-end community. Look at this sign glowing with the sunset. And there's just a lot of really great information in this document showing the different parks in the community. So if you're a big Catino nerd like I am, make sure to sign up for my newsletter down below and you'll automatically receive a welcome email with this document. And, and also, I feel like it also, it's I feel like that like sham wow guy or something, like it's an infomercial, but there's more. But there is more. If you want to continue to learn about the Disney Catino community, you're going to need to check out this playlist right here about Disney Catino community. And also make sure to subscribe and reach out to me if you're looking to buy in here.